Hi there, welcome back. It's Pajana. So today I have another thrift haul slash beauty finds to share with you guys. I promise this is the last haul I do until November. I'm going to challenge myself and not spend any more so that I could be all while it's full for Black Friday. And I think it makes more sense for me to not shop until then because there's going to be even more better deals in like a month away. So um, on another note, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. I do a lot of styling affordable pieces on a budget as well as just budgeting tips. So if you haven't subscribed, just pop down below and subscribe and then let's get back with the video. Alright, so let's jump right onto the default portion. I did found a few uh, pieces, so I am going to start with the tops. Right, the first top I found is just another pajama top and I know I've been obsessed and that's all it seems like I've been hauling from the thrift store but I promise um, this will be it. <laughs> and I really like this color, it's another kind of blue green mixture with some grey tones in it and this one has some pockets at the bottom. It is big, it's not my size and it's definitely... Um, way too big on me. I don't mind oversized stuff. I feel like I could just tuck this into my jeans or if it doesn't look right then I might as well just wear it to sleep because it is a sleepwear. <laughs> Alright the next top I picked up is the next top I picked up is just this sleeveless blouse and it has this asymmetrical thing going on. I'm not sure exactly if this can be called a peplum or some pleats. I don't know. It has these kind of pinstripe going on and this is in a really light blue grayish tone and this piece is definitely more suitable for spring or summer wear but I feel like you can do your layering and turn this top this top and turn this top into a fall piece. Moving on to the next top is this pink or this really pale pink dusty sheer blouse and I know it's a floral piece and right now it's fall but trust me guys you can really work your floors into fall as well and I really like how this one is uh, it has these texture going on with the shirt it, it looks like it's almost purposely and carefully planned out crease where you just iron to make a really sharp and um, nice texture to the shirt so I I really like that. And I also picked up two really classic and closet essential pieces which are the white button downs and I am a white top girl. I love anything white, white blouses, white t-shirts, anything white. They just go with so many things in your closet. You do so much with it and it's really effortless and easy and it's not hard to style at all. So I picked up two different variations in style and Let's start with this one. This one right here has these uh, folded pleats running down the center of the shirt and it is definitely more structured. The silhouette is more clean and you have a lot of lines going on. So this one is more suited for office wear or to a job interview or any kind of formal event and it's not as casual so with this it is definitely a lot dressier as compared to the next one I'm going to show you guys is 100% linen so this one it is really more relaxed not as neatly structured and defined so with this one you can get a really effortless and really um, easy and going vibe with your outfit if you were to just tuck this into a pair of jeans and put on your slippers or your meals and you got yourself a super chic easy effortless look so that is why I picked up uh, two different variations and I do already owned a lot of uh, other kind of style button downs especially white button downs in my closet but I just had to add a couple more all right next up are some bottoms and I actually picked up two skirts so the first one, I am really happy with both because I'm normally not much of a skirt person. I love my bottoms, my trousers, my jeans, but I couldn't pass this up. This skirt right here is such a really sophisticated and elegant vibe type of skirt. It almost gives me these uniform where you go to a really uh, posh private school. I really like this, especially the buttons. They just add such a really nice touch to it. If I didn't pick this up at the thrift store, I this is definitely a really pricey skirt and I don't know exactly what type of skirt style this is. If you guys know, uh, leave a comment down below because I don't 
know how to classify this skirt as. And then the second skirt is this long maxi skirt and I usually stay away from a lot of maxi dresses or skirts just because I am shorter in height and I can never find a pair of uh, not a pair but a skirt or a dress or a maxi dress that wouldn't drown me with the length and this one it fits me like a glove I if the length just falls right above my ankle and I am just really into floral I can't let go of flora yet so I had to pick up this one and it's a red uh, floral print so I can still wear this in the fall time I paid seven about seven bucks for this skirt and I know if I was to find this at the regular or like at its retail uh, prices it's definitely way more pricier than I would pay seven dollar at a thrift store so really in love with this as well and then I also picked up a pair of trousers and this one is a classic white trouser it's not as wide leg, or wide, leg, wide leg as the other trousers I showed you guys before this one is more fitting and straight it's not super skinny but it is a uh, more or tighter fit I think a black classic trouser that fits you really nice is definitely a must to have in your closet and you can really turn this into something really formal or make it casual and just topped up with a t-shirt and a pair of sneakers and you got yourself some really classy laid back but very final clothing item I picked up is this uh, two-piece set and this is I'm not sure exactly what to call this top um, it's not a blazer or a cardigan but but it is an outer piece and I love love this detail right here these uh, hooks are they look like spades or even leaves and um, I thought that was so cool and the top just has these pin stripe with these golden thread metallic thread that just lines the shirt and comes with a trouser and you know me I can never pass up a pair of good trouser and this surprisingly also fits me really well the length is not long or um, anything like that so I got really lucky because I practically picked this up the last minute was when I was about to check out and I just kind of grabbed it and go and I when I tried it on back at home it fit so that was really nice okay and then for the very final item I picked up is this pair of pointed toe black loafer and normally I'm really skeptical about buying second-handed shoes just because we all put our feet in shoes our feet sweats it stinks there's older and um, I, I just feel really disgusted by just that thought so um, when I came across this pair it was practically brand new like the back you can tell from the bottom it has never been worn or stepped outside at all so I don't know what's up with its original owner to kind of pass this pass this thing away um, but you can tell the, the price tag is still here and yeah I know it says 10 I'm a short girl with big feet but this is sold as $9.95 at the thrift store that I went to and on that day that I went it was white tags were half off so I scored this pair of loafers for only five bucks you can never find a pair of loafers or a pair of shoes unless it's sandals or anything like that that is sold for five bucks so um, I really scored big with this pair of loafer because I have been on the hunt for a really nice affordable yet still stylish pair of loafers so that was it for the thrift haul now let's move on to the beauty finds alright so I picked up a few lipstick products the first one is this Too Faced La Matte color drenched matte lipstick and this is in the shade Hey Girl and um, it's just a really nice kind of mauve berryish very magenta color and I, I've already tried it it feels really nice and buttery and smooth so yeah I got this for only $5.99 and that was such a really great deal because normally if you were to buy something over at Ulta if you guys hear any birds chirping that's because they're right outside my window on this tree and so yeah ignore that um, but usually those lipstick ranges from 20 and up and that's just really pricey for a lipstick <laughs> so I was happy I'm always happy when I score something really good so I'm gonna warn you guys you're gonna be hearing that a lot right. so moving on to the next lip products are these bite beauty uh, high pigment lip pencils so uh, there's two of these and they're actually just really small and I got these for $7.99 
And this shade I got were Tannin, which is a really nice dark uh, red wine color. And it's definitely a really nice color for fall. The next one is in the shade Quince. This one is more of a brighter magenta fuchsia pink color. So um, there's that. And I love how you can actually just twist them up to use it instead of having to use a separate pencil and sharpener, which makes it really messy. And I feel like it's really wasteful of the product, especially when they jam or they just break off. Or the last lip product that I found is this Buxom Liquid Lipstick and it's their Wildly Whipped Lightweight. So this is in the shade Moonlighter which is more of a cherry pink color. Uh, definitely more suitable for spring or summer but I own two of Buxom's lip liner and I, uh, I, I love them so I decided to get this. I believe this was $4.99. Oh, so the next item I got is this Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner. This is in the shade Perfect Moss, which is a deep olive green color. And I love how it glides on so easily. I know it it's one of those that I have to use a separate pencil or uh, pencil sharpener and I don't have one. So unfortunately it's already down to the end and I have to go and get a pencil eye sharpener. But um, this one, it came with this silicone tip to smudge your eye, which is really neat and handy because I like a lot of two-in-one things, so I don't have to care so much. This one, it glides on really nice and soft, so um, I like that about it. And you can't tell that it's a really dark olive green color. It looks almost a dark brown. Oh, and I picked it up for only $3.99. Alright, so this next product I was really excited because it's a Kat Von D um, Everlasting Face Shaper Blush and it's in the shade Pour Vida. If you must know, I that I have been using the same shade, uh, blush shade, like since forever. Uh, it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay one that I've always I shown in my other tutorial. It was about time I get a different shade of blush. So when I came across this one, I was super excited to snatch this up. On the inside, it gave me like enough product to last me for forever because I don't wear makeup every day. So I think this is sufficient for me and I'm not going to make a dent in this thing because look at how much um, product I'm getting. And the great thing about this is that I paid only $5.99 for it. The very final item, which is my most favorite awesome find from this haul is this Too Faced Cat Eyes eyeshadow palette. It comes with nine shades in here so you can create three different looks with this thing, uh, this palette and I love how it has all, it gives you all the essential shades that you would need like you could carry this as a day to night um, eyeshadow palette and it has the lighter shades as well as the darker eyeshadow shades so you can create a natural everyday look or you can um, Toughen up with some darker shades to create a more dramatic smoky eye look and I am just super obsessed. Look at the packaging. It's in this cute leopard tin case and I scored it for only $14.99. Alright so that wraps up this haul. Hopefully you enjoyed it and if you haven't subscribed by now definitely click that subscribe button down below as well as the bell to get notified every single time I upload. I do plan to either upload on a Thursday or a Friday. I'm still in between those days since I uh, am, have not set a specific date but for now I have been uploading either on a Thursday or a Friday so just click that bell button and you will get notified each time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stay until the end, hearts to you. Um, but I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!